Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Group By. Group By is a sorting method that is going to allow you to group your collections by a particular field. Let's dive into our first example. Let's collect, and in here, we're going to have some products. So we'll say product, apples, and let's just give them a price of 10. Let's have another apples, give them a price of 20. Another one, give them a price of 30. And then maybe let's have some coconuts, give them a price of 40. And finally, some more coconuts for a price of 50. Then we're going to call the group by method. And we're going to say group everything by the product column. Let's check out the results. So there we are. We have a collection that contains two collections. The first collection has a key of apples, as represented here. And then our second collection has a key of coconuts. Then inside of those, then we have another collection with each of the items that matched. So easy enough, we can of course select anything else. We can say price, and in this case, we actually don't have any repeating prices, but we've been able to price them together. So if we had another apple, that was $10. So there we go. Now we have $10 with two items inside. So very useful. Another option of group by is to conserve the keys. And here's what that means. Let's say that we had a particular key, let's say string one, and then let's do the same for the other ones. And let's just change this to two, three, four, and finally five. Let's change this back to product. And now let's run the example one more time. Now, as you can see here, this has a key of zero, one, two. Nowhere in here does it say string one, string two, none of that. All of that data has been lost. So to be able to get that back in, we have to conserve the keys. So as a second parameter, we can pass in just true. That's all we need to pass in. And now you see that we have string one, string two, three, four, and five all contained in here. So instead of doing a zero based index, it's actually just using the keys that were used in the original collection. Up next, I'm going to show you another example in which we're going to manipulate the data before we group by. And here's what I mean by that. Let's create a new collection. Let's say that we had some more products and this time they have a code 123 VG. I will just say that the name for that is going to be string one. Let's repeat that a couple of times. This second one, we're going to put a dash on it. And this third one, we'll put a space. Let's change this to string two and string three. Okay. So let's say that I wanted to group by this code column right here. Let's check out what happens. So obviously it is interpreting these three as different codes. So how could we possibly group these three together? Now the example that I'm showing you here is just when you have a little bit of discrepancy between strings, but you still know that you need to group them together. So what you can do instead is you can pass in a callback. So we'll say function element. And so in here you return what the group by column is going to end up using. So we're going to return string replace. And what I want to replace is I want to replace a dash and a space. So you may not know this, but string replace actually can take an array of characters. So instead of passing in a string with just a dash, for example, we can actually wrap this in square brackets and we can pass in a dash and we can pass in a space. Then as a second argument is what you're going to replace it with. Let's just say nothing and then the string. So we'll say element and of course our element is at the key of code. Now let's check out the results. And there we are. So one, two, three VG and it's been able to group all three of them right underneath it. So this is extremely powerful. Now, the last thing I want to show you about group by is that it actually doesn't affect the original collection. So if we set collection equals our collection and then call the group by on our collection and then we returned collection, let's see what happens now. We actually get back our original collection and that is because group by doesn't affect the original collection. It returns a brand new instance of a collection. So if you needed to save that, we could say something like new collection equals that 
and then instead of returning collection, we can return new collection. And so we're back to the same thing we had before, one, two, three, VG with three items inside.